today I want to talk to you about everyone's favorite subject when it comes to photography organization yeah that's right organization that dreaded question that no one really cares about until they have to care about it but the fact of the matter is in today's digital age we're taking lots and lots of photographs so we have to care about organization or else finding that one or two photos in the many thousands of pictures we had is that old adage finding a needle in a haystack and you're gonna spend countless hours looking for things and less time being creative I want to show you how we can reverse that situation so that we can spend more time being creative and less time looking for stuff. One of the great things about Lightroom in particular is our ability to organize all of our photographs in a multiple of ways. Things like star ratings, color labels, collections, keywords. And while these are most of the tools that we have at our disposal inside of Lightroom for organizing, there are little hidden gems here and there if you know where to look for them. Where I want to concentrate today's video on are keywords. keywords is equivalent to Lightroom's Google search. The more keywords that you create, the easier it'll be for you to find what you're looking for. However, just like too many folders could get distracting and confusing, too many keywords could also get distracting and confusing. So I have a killer tip for you guys today that you might not even know Lightroom does, or you may have just ignored it because you never knew what it really meant. So over here on the right hand side you can see that I have my keywords list, you'll have your keywords list, and if I look here you can see that already my keywords are completely and totally out of control. I want the same functionality that keywords give me, but I don't want to have this many keywords in my list. For example, if I were looking for a picture that was in relation to a safety deposit box and I were to go to my keyword list to find it, I'd easily be able to pull up this keyword list. But if you look in my keywords, keywords list over here, you'll see check boxes next to all the other words that I've associated with this one particular picture. I have safety, safe, public, privacy, opening, open, number, etc. All these different things that you might think you would want to create keywords for in order to find something that was relevant to a safety deposit box. And while these keywords would be helpful if I were looking for this photograph, I don't want them in my list. Luckily for us, the people at Adobe are a lot smarter than me and came up with a solution for this. If I were to double click on the word safety deposit box, that will open up the edit keyword tag. And here's where the magic happens. You'll notice that not only do I have the keyword name in this example, safety deposit box, I also have what's called synonyms. The keyword or that definition was having the same. So in my keywords list, I've created a lot of words that are the same or relevant to safety deposit box, like safety, safe, security. Instead of creating individual keywords for this, what I'd rather do is create synonyms for this keyword that are just as good as creating the keywords themselves. Now this doesn't save me any work because if I were going to create the keyword I'd have to do it. If I'm creating a synonym I have to enter it. So either way I'm creating something. But the fact that I have the same functionality with a cleaner display in my keywords list is really what's important to me here. So all I'm going to do for this example is look at some of the other keywords that I had created that had checkboxes and I'm just going to enter them in here. Once I've entered in all of the synonyms that are associated with this particular keyword, which is important to note that you want to make sure that you separate each one of these synonyms with a comma. It's also important to note that you shouldn't have a space after the very last synonym that you've entered because now Lightroom thinks that you're going to enter in another keyword and if I were to go to hit save it's going to give me a, an error message basically that says a name must be provided so make sure that you delete that there should be no spaces or commas at the end of the last synonym that you've entered once you've entered in all the synonyms that are associated with this keyword just go ahead and hit save now that I've done this I can go ahead and delete all of those keywords that I created a synonym for now there isn't a way to do this in a mass deletion process. Unfortunately, I've just got to right click on each one and delete it. Let me go ahead and get rid of the rest of these. All right, just like that, my keyword list just got 11 words shorter. Now let me show you how this searchability works. I'm going to head on up to catalog. I'm going to go to all photographs. Then I'm going to go up to the text box in the library filter and I'm going to type in a word. One of the words that we entered as a synonym was the word privacy and as I begin to type that word you can see that that photo pops up. I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. I could type safe. It pops up. Number. It pops up. So any one of the synonyms that I've entered in along with the keyword could all be searched. The last thing that I'll say about this is that you are going to have to do the work. The more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it. 
If you're not using these features, then the search bar isn't gonna work. So take the time to clean up and declutter your keyword list by using the synonyms tab. It'll make life so much easier in the end.